welcome to my channel and today is January 1st so happy new year it's also my packing day for a cruise that we're going on tomorrow and this will be our first 10 day cruise so the packing for it is a little intimidating you know I feel like I have an awful lot of stuff but then again my last cruise was five days so this is twice as many days so this is the first part of a what I packed versus what I wore video and um, today I'm going to show you what I'm intending to pack. i am still been kind of editing right down to this very moment because there might be a dress or something I want in there, but um, I'm gonna try to go with what's on the hanger behind me. And you'll recognize many of these items from my style boxes. So let's just jump right into it and see what it is I'm going to pack and then when I get back I'll finish the video and show you what I actually wore. First pair of shorts are the um, Not Your Daughter's Jeans mint colored shorts that I got from a very recent style box and I grabbed two tops to go with those. Pretty much I tried to get two tops for each pair of shorts. I have this one from a, I don't know, I think maybe this was D&Co a long time ago, I'm not sure can't be positive. It is Chris and Carol, so I guess it could be a couple different style boxes. It may, you know what, maybe it was fashion. And this one I know was fashion. And this is a uh, Andrea by Units. I love this shirt. It's very light. And we are going to the Southern Caribbean, so it will be very warm. So that's why I packed sleeveless. All right, let's see the next set of coordinates. Okay, the next pair of shorts are a cargo type white shorts. They are made by Style & Company, which will tell you right away that that means they are from Macy's. Bought two pair, you'll see the other ones in a moment. And for that, to go with that, I picked out this t-shirt, which I don't remember who it was from. It's Lucky Brand, so I'm guessing it was Wantable because I get, they. They give me a lot of um, Lucky Brand and Wantable boxes. And then this one is by Cloth and & Bloom. And again, out of a somewhat recent style box. These two is what I've picked out to go with white shorts. They have a lot of, they're busy, they have a lot of white in the background, so I thought they'd be perfect. Okay, next I have a pair of Distressed Denim. These roll up at the bottom normally. And these are by... I think, yes, Wit and Wisdom. So they're kind of more, I've worn these a lot in the summer, a lot. They're super comfy. And um, so I've got those. They're a little distressed. And I have this top to go with them, which is by Cupio. And I don't recall which style box I got this out of. It, the color red is, is really nice. If I get up closer, you'll get a, a better view of it. When I stand back here, to me it looks a little orange. But it's not, it's a very nice red. And then the other top, which I got from Dia and Co. a long time ago, is this one. It looks very Scandinavian to me. It's super comfy. The only thing I don't like about it has the little scoop in the back of the neck, not my favorite. It's a Molly and Isadora. But it's very airy and light, and I think perfect for a hot climate. That is my third ensemble. Okay, just while pulling this out, I've done an edit. This packing thing never ends. Even when I get it packed, I take something out, put something in. I had these pair of nice dressy Prescott New York um, shorts in there. Mm, I don't think so. so. I'm just going to take the dark ones, the dark denim. They're frayed at the bottom. Can't wear them into the dining room even if they're nice. So, And to pair with that, I have this nice light breezy. Oh, these and the other denim shorts, I believe, were both from Trump Club. And then this is by Christie. I want to say fashion, but I can't be sure. Could have been Stitch Fix. Not sure. But it's nice and breezy and light, and I think it'll look really good with navy blue shorts, as will this one, which you can tell is brand new because the tag is still on it. And this was just out of my recent Trump Club. And... Uh, I mentioned it in writing, but I'll tell you now, is I got it a few days before Christmas, and I returned it like after Christmas, and in the meantime, I guess because of after Christmas sales, 
the prices had just dropped tremendously on them. And this 25, what I thought was going to be a $25 t-shirt was $9.97. So make a note. <laughs> Order your trunks to come in around December 20th and extend <laughs> your checkout date. So anyway, next ensemble. Okay, so this is the last pair of shorts. It's another pair of the cargo cottony shorts. And these are Calvin Klein. And they are, and they tie down there. And they are from Macy's. And I like the cargo types. Um, they have nice pockets. You can stick your phone or camera. The white ones had better pockets because they had one on the legs. So you can actually go without like a wallet or a purse with these sometimes. But those are kind of a light blue, and I have this Lucky Brand top, which I believe was out of my first Wannable box. I haven't had that many Wannables, so it could have been a second one, but I think it was first. And I love this top. It's got frayed sleeves. <laughs> I don't know, it's just super comfy. It's a woven cotton, super soft, but yet a little bit thicker without being hot. Yeah, it's just really nice and cute. So. That'll go good with it because it has the light blue in it. And then this one, I believe, was also from Wannable. I can't say that with 100% certainty. But it's a longer. And uh, blouse is out, so it's pretty flowy. It's nice and colorful, and I think it'll look good with those um, shorts because it has kind of this color in it. So that's the end of my shorts and tops. So let me look at some of the casual dresses because I like having casual dresses on cruises because you can wear them in the day instead of shorts. In fact, I find dresses more comfortable, but we're going on some excursions, so I think um, maybe shorts are smarter to take on those, because what if you have to like climb upstairs or, you know, things like that. So, so, but I like having casual dresses. You can wear them on day trips, like if you're in the port walking around, love them. You can also wear them to dinner at night if it's not a formal night. and push come to shove you can throw it over a swimsuit if you uh, need to so let's go see what casual dresses that I've packed okay these are what I call casual dresses this one I remember is from fashion and it's very flowy as you can see and you could throw this over a swimsuit and make it into a cover but it stands on its own too and it is very comfortable and light and then the next one is from Fashion and it is that Umji brand embroidered. It has shrunk up a little in length, so I'm not quite as comfortable with the length of it now, but I do love this. And it is got it does have a, a layer of lining, which is also cotton, so it's nice and breathable all the way around. And then this is super comfy. It's a fleecy feeling, but light. And I think this might have been Stitch Fix. I can't remember. It's Fortune and Ivy. But as you can see, pretty much everything except a couple items have been out of a out of a style box because I don't really shop. Next is from a recent style box, and I want to say Dia, but I'm not sure. It's East Adeline. I took this on my last cruise. Well, same with the last one too. And it has a ruffle on the bottom, and it's this I could wear to the dining room. I could, you know, make it a little dressier if I wanted to, or it could be a day dress. Now this one is an Ellen Tracy, who I always get mixed up with the brand Eileen Fisher, <laughs> but Ellen Tracy is the one that I like. And this is from Fashion, and it's like a t-shirt material. It's pretty light, and then it, and it's flowy, and it has this at the bottom, this turquoise color, and the rest is white with navy blue. And it has this big open in the back. But it falls just perfectly to where your bra doesn't show. I don't know how they did that. It's magic. Really, really like it. One of the best things I've, to me that I've ever gotten out of a style box. As far as loving it, wearing it, you know, pulling for it, comfort, value, everything. Love it. Okay. This is the off-the-shoulder dress out of my last fashion box. And uh, it is by Check It Out. You can see I still have the tag on it. Um, this could be a day dress, but because it's off the shoulder, I'm going to call it a dinner dress. And I think 
I don't think I would have any trouble with the um, dress code because I've seen people wear similar. So, yeah, it's very cute. But if I wore it out and about, I probably wouldn't wear it off the shoulder. And then this one is a cold shoulder dress. This is from a style box. And I want to say the brand is Tarte, which I believe I see in trunk clubs. So I'm guessing it's there. It could be Stitch Fix. I don't know. But anyway, it is a cold shoulder, but it's a short, it's a mid-length sleeve. And it has this detail in the back, as you can see. And it's a flowy, just a black jersey knit cotton. It's a very comfortable dress. It must have some spandex into it, in it too. It's a very comfortable dress. And it can definitely um, pull it off as just a little step up from a day dress. Or it can absolutely be just a sporting around the port day dress. Next is a City Chic. And I believe this was from Stitch Fix. It could have been Dia, but I think it was Stitch Fix many moons ago. I seldom wear this dress because it does have a pretty low decolletage. But I do wear it on cruises. It's a pretty full skirt. And very colorful and the colors are just beautiful in it look at that I happen to think it's a very beautiful fabric and then this is definitely from Dia because this was the Betsy Johnson capsule or whatever or collab and so this is one of Betsy Johnson's with the lip prints I wore this on my last cruise too but I'm gonna take it again this one has such a flowy dress and last time I only wore it to dinner and that was it. So maybe I'll be able to have an opportunity to wear it, you know, to some of the entertainment or something. Yeah, it was pretty comfortable. Once I got the sleeves knotted where I wanted them and they were even. See, they have knots at the top. And you have to get them even. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked it. So. Now, let's look at the gala wear. Okay, the first one is a navy blue, pretty much. Uh, I believe I bought this, purchased this at Dillard's. But as you can see, it's all lacy with beads at the top. And then it's got built in here, so, so you can see nothing shows. Even the whole, whole bodice has this. It's got a lining that's sewed in. And that comes down. And then it makes a skirt here, but this still covers the skirt. And then this is full. It flows nicely. And it is pretty comfortable to wear. Especially for, you know, a gala dress. <laughs> this one I think the last time I wore was to Washington, D.C. For the DAR, Continental Congress. And I did wear it on a cruise once to meet the captain of the brilliance of the seas. <laughs> but I haven't worn it in a long time. And on a cruise, I don't believe. So I pulled it out. And it's got the lacy at the top. You'll see there's a little pin I have in there. I'll have to do something to cover that up a little. Because, again, too much decolletage. But look how the bottom is all layers. And that, my friends, is very flattering. Or it is on me. It may not be on other people, but it definitely hides anything that might look bumpy or something. It does a pretty good job of hiding that. So these are all long, these are gowns, again, these are my formal. Then the third one is the first maxi dress I believe I ever got in a style box. It was from DN Co. I remember, and I was very surprised by it, and but I kept it. And it is by Taylor, which is a brand that usually does pretty good. Um, for me, it fits fairly good. This one was a tiny bit loose then, but might fit now, who knows. But it's very chiffon-y, can you hear it? And it's this sheer layer over a solid layer. And it's got this pretty waistline embroidery detail. And uh, yeah, you could wear this as a dress down midi or maxi a little bit, or kind of like the nights that you can wear gowns. So I want to have the option, but it's a pretty comfy dress to wear. And this, these are not layered. But they kind of look like it because of the way the print changes. Those are my three, um, I'll call formal night on Hall American, they call it gala. So those are the three there. 
now let's look at some accessories. I was going to pack a cardigan, and I still may, but I decided that uh, the one I had in my hand needed some washing, so it's in the washing machine, so we'll see. But in the meantime, I remembered that I got this scarf for my birthday. See how big it is? So it would make a very nice wrap. Because a lot of times when you're just walking on the ship, especially outside at night or sitting in a restaurant, you just get maybe a little bit of a chill, either from the wind or the air conditioning. And you don't need warmth. You just need something to keep the air off of your shoulders if you're wearing something exposed. All right, next is headwear. I always take my Alutic Museum travel hat because I do a hashtag Alutic Museum travel hat. Alutic Museum is where I worked before I moved to Florida. Uh, the Alutic Museum is located in Kodiak, Alaska. If you're ever there on a cruise, Alaska cruise, there aren't that many that stop in Kodiak, but they do. There are one or two sailings, I think, a year. I believe they're on Holland, but might be other cruise lines too. But anyway, um, go check out the museum. It's a native tribal museum. Very interesting. goes back eight to 10,000 years, or it did when I was there. Who knows? They have an archaeology dig every summer, so they may have uh, unearthed uh, artifacts that are even older by now. Anyway, I always, I always carry this. I usually just wear a ponytail right through here. This hat has been to Honduras, Guatemala, Grand Cayman, Grand Turk, uh, Cozumel many times. It's been, I'm trying to remember, it's been to Hawaii. I don't know. It's been to the Virgin Islands, St. Martin, St. Thomas. I think it's been everywhere I've been. Uh, oh, it's been to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's <laughs> and now it's about to go to Bonaire, Curacao, and Aruba. Bon voyage, a Lutet Museum travel hat. Then sometimes I like something with a little more brim, but I don't like the big floppy hats. They get all messed up in your suitcase. You can wear them on board if you want. So I go for something with just a little brim, not huge. And I haven't ever worn this one on vacation before, and this isn't even my hat. My mother-in-law bought a condo. This was left behind. <laughs> and somehow, I guess when she passed away, I don't know, it ended up at my house. It's not a huge amount of coverage, but it does, you know, cover the shade the eyes a little. And I do need to keep my eyes out of the sun if I can, because I already had the beginnings of cataracts. Yay. Okay, if you watch my recent trunk club, you'll know I bought this Kate Spade crossbody, which I think is going to be great for tootling around. Uh, I wish it was in navy blue, but it's not. It's in black, but you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going to wear this black crossbody with navy blue stuff. <laughs> yes, I think it's going to be great. So I'm taking that, and I can carry this into port. Then for just carrying around the ship on the, well, not carrying around the ship, but in the dining room. Because usually I don't really carry a purse on the ship, but in the dining room I do. So I'm just going to take this little Louis bag here. It has this, and that's probably all I'm going to use is this, and just clip this off. But I put this on here because I wasn't sure, because you can clip off the... Uh, too, but it's a nice little crossbody, but it is little, so I think I just wear it more as a, oh, I know how it works. Um, actually, the chain doesn't clip off, but what the chain does is it clips off one side, clips over here, and makes it like a little, what do you call those, wristlet, turns it into a wristlet. Now let's talk about shoes. This is the one that my, <laughs> my husband doesn't understand why I would bring so many shoes. I am bringing two pairs of black shoes, two pairs of blue shoes, one small heel, one a little higher. Now I don't really wear a lot of closed toe shoes. I've mentioned before some feet issues and that's why. So here's my Vionic blue, you know, short, and they're just a little. Uh, I have a lot of Vionic shoes. I would say that these are the least comfortable ones I have, but yet a Vionic shoe least comfortable is more comfortable than a lot of other brands most comfortable okay so my little higher heel as you can see are these they're very plain and I love them I wear them a lot so those are my two blue short high 
and I can wear these under gowns. No one ever sees them. They don't know I'm wearing flip-flops under a gown. It covers my feet. So let's look at the black ones. These are my black higher ones. Again, I can wear them under something or with a dress, and it just dresses them up a little more than this. These are the low, flatter ones. These are much more casual, wear with shorts. So these are my two black pair. Uh, Bionic, Bionic, they're all Bionic. I was going to wear sneakers, bring sneakers, but then I needed to bring a pair that's water wading type. So for walking like on the be in the beach, you know, because sometimes there's shells and rocks and stuff. So these are the kind that you can wear on the water. They're made for that. See the all the holes around the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, you can see that big one there. And the water just runs out when you step out. They're made for that. They're wading shoes. But then I would need these, maybe for walking around, or if I decide to go to the gym with Jerry, which. The odds aren't real good at that, but <laughs> um, then I thought, well, what do I have that might work for both? Da da. These are not technically wading shoes, but I have used them as that before. What are these? These are are these Skechers? Yeah, these are Skechers, and they do kind of work that way. They're light, so I could wear them either way, and I don't have to tie them. <laughs> What I want to be able to do though is find the other one of these so I have a flip-flop for the pool <laughs> and for some reason I can't find the other one of these. If I don't I have just a pair of other flip-flops I can bring. When you're on a cruise they really don't appreciate you um, you know running around through the main part of the ship in, in a swimsuit. So I wear cover-ups, most people do. So this is so each I'm going to bring two swimsuits because I cannot stand putting on a wet swimsuit or even a damp one. So this is my first one, and I bought this both of these I bought at Longboat Key last year. I love the swimsuit. It's a swim dress kind of thing. The downside to a swim dress is it takes a while to dry because it has more fabric, I guess. And this is by the, and I love this swimsuit and it's very modest. It comes, you know. Even though it has a low neck, it shows no cleavage at all. And then I read the tag. I bought it like last June, but I just somehow ran across the tag recently and learned that this is actually a mastectomy swimsuit. Now, I like it just as a regular swimsuit. For those of you out there thinking you can't go swimming after surgery, there are swimsuits made just for you. And they're cute and, you know, just like you wouldn't even know this is a, a mastectomy swimsuit. So, like that. Um, and this is the cover-up that I wear with it. And it's just a cotton... You've seen me probably do videos in this because I throw it over my swimsuit when I get out of the pool in the summer. And sometimes I come do videos. Where are the pockets? I keep reaching up here, but they're down here. It has two pockets, so it's very nice, flowy. I'll get out of the pool, throw this on, and, you know, run to Publix or something. So those two go together. And then the same place in Longboat Key, I bought this one, which this is a, more of a tank style. It has a little cross in the back. Who is this one made by? Longitude Woman. But it's, uh, you know, very, very flattering for a fat chick. <laughs> Comfortable, good one to swim in because of the shape and everything, and it does dry a bit faster than the swim dress. And then I just have this that came out of a style box by Market and Spruce, so I don't remember which style box it came out of, but I use this as a swimsuit cover. It's supposed to be a dress, but I don't know. I like it better as a swimsuit cover up, but it is a little bit heavier than the average just tooling around dress like I showed off the rack that I got. It is a little bit heavier than that, so over a wet swimsuit is kind of nice, actually. But it's got a little bit of flowiness. It's, it's not fitted, but it's not terribly flowy either, so I really like it. So that's all the, the clothing that you, anyone will see. I only have one more clothing item, and that is nightgown. And I hope there's laundry, because I'm only going to pack one. And that is this one. I recently got this from a trunk club. And it is the Eileen West. 
Well, I appreciate if you've made it this far in the video. I hope it's, it's long enough to where the camera shut off. So, And when we get back after the cruise, I will um, do the rest of the video and show you what I actually wore and what was excess. Until then. Hi everyone, I am home and now about to go over with you what are the what clothes that we t that I packed that I actually wore. It's a comparison. What did I pack versus what I wore. Let's just get started because I need to get this stuff in the laundry. So, let's start with shoes. I never did find the other one of these, so I ended up for pool, sh pool shoes bringing these. Which I like if I'm going to wear a long time, but if I'm taking them off and on, I don't. These, you know, this type slides on and off much easier. But I did wear them. Then for blue shoes, <laughs> as you know, I packed two pair. I packed a flat pair and a whoops, higher heeled pair. And I wore both of these. For black shoes, I had brought these pair of flats. And then a little bit bigger, like for things like a dress or whatever, I wore the higher heel ones and uh, wore them too. So I wore so far all the shoes I brought. The only pair I brought that I didn't wear is I ended up bringing these. And um, I had them on my feet one day, but I didn't really wear them. Okay, I brought one outfit of activewear, just like yoga pants, and then this one um, top with a built a tank with a built in bra, sports bra, and we never made it to the gym. In fact, I never even saw the gym. Don't know where it was. <laughs> That's crazy on a 10 day cruise, but uh, it was a pretty busy cruise. So uh, I brought this scarf. I think I showed you. Yep, I showed you this before. I carried it with me. Yes, I did. I did put it over my shoulders at one time. When it, it was kind of windy on this trip because we went to the ABC Islands and islands are windy. <laughs> so I did use it to cover myself up from the wind one time, but I didn't really wear it that much. I also brought a cardigan, which for some reason I cannot find now. I think I already have laundered it, but, um, and I did wear that. I wore that on the ship, like when I went to dinner at night over, because pretty much everything was sleeveless. So I wore that as I walked through. Back to these items. These are more the um, active items. This cover-up, this swimsuit, yes. I wore this. I wore this to the hot tub once or twice, I think. And then this one I wore, I think, once or twice to the beach. So yes, I wore both swimsuits and both cover-ups that went with them. Nightgown, absolutely wore it. Wish I had brought two. I didn't think about that 10 days and we didn't get laundry, so yeah, <laughs> I think I ended up a couple nights wearing this cover up or the other cover up, swimsuit cover up as a nightgown because I just had this one on enough. So what about the items on the hanger? Let's take a look at those. Actually, let's start with the accessories on the hanger. This little bag here, I just tucked it in here. Didn't wear the crossbody strap at all. I just tucked this little hand thing in there and carried this to dinner like every night. And when I had to run around the ship for anything, carried it as well. Uh, the Kate Spade bag that I had so much hope for as a crossbody ended up not being that practical at all. It isn't that the bag isn't practical. It's very practical for a normal person. But me, I drag around, I need the bag. I also drag around binoculars, a bird book, two cameras. This doesn't work for that. So I ended up having to buy a beach bag. As far as hats, yes, I wore this one, but a baseball cap is just handy anyway. I wore it on the fishing trip. We went fishing in, in Grand Turk, caught a mahi, um, and then I just wore it a bunch of times. And then this one actually was very useful. This isn't the most flattering of hats on me, but it it's weird. It was my mother-in-law's hat, and it just sort of ended up at our house. And I've had so many straw hats, and none of them were like comfortable or they were too heavy or something. This one is kind of perfect even though it doesn't look that good. And when I finally get around to doing my video, because I have so much footage, it's going to take forever to edit it, you'll probably see that hat again and again and again. So now the clothes. Okay, let's start with the four dinner dresses. Now these are casual dinner dresses, but not gala nights, just regular dinners. I did wear this one. This is the Betsy Johnson from Dia & Co. Wore it. This is a City Chic from someone. <laughs> Wore it. Ooh. 
This is a, uh, what do you call it, cold shoulder. The interesting thing in the back, from Tarte, wore it. In fact, I might have thrown that on twice. Once to dinner and then once another time just later in the night when we went out. And then this newest one from Fashion wore it and wish I had worn it more and I'll explain to that when I, in, uh, when I get to the other dresses. But yes, it didn't really work as an off the shoulder for me though. I ended up wearing it on the shoulders. Okay, the casual dresses. I wore this one to board the ship. This is really a comfy, soft dress. And uh, it doesn't cling to you like it looks like it might. It doesn't. It's a little thicker than that. And it's a kind of velvety feeling. Wore it twice, technically. Then this one, definitely wore it. But I think I wore it two different times. I was changing clothes all the time, it seemed like. Because you'd get up, go to breakfast, just throw on something. Then go back, get dressed for whatever you were doing, whatever excursion we were doing, come back, then change clothes either for dinner or for laying around, and then change clothes for dinner or, you know, just going to a show if we didn't go to dinner. So I did a lot of clothes changing. This I did not wear because when I wore this breezy thing in Curacao, it was so comfortable and great. However, the islands are windy, as I said, and these big flowy things. It was a struggle keeping this dress from being over my head. Ain't nobody want to see that. So, yeah. So for that reason, when it came down to these two left here, I chose not to wear them and wore shorts or whatever instead. So, yeah. So these two did not get worn because I learned from the other one that I'd just be wearing a dress over my head. Okay, this outfit here, yes. I definitely wore and it was comfortable that I wore this outfit the striped tee and the dark denim yes I wore it so glad I packed it, it was comfy these next three tops I did not wear uh, this one I didn't even see in the closet I guess because it doesn't have much in sleeves and stuff yeah I just never got around to wearing it never even realized I had it and that's from fashion that I remember this one I didn't wear, I'll, I think because it was so wrinkled, and even after all this time, it's still not completely unwrinkled. I could have, you know, steamed it or something, but on top of that, it's flowy and stuff, and I was afraid it was going to blow up. And this one, I put on one morning and then switched into a different top. I don't know why, I can't remember why I chose not to wear it, but I didn't. So I did not wear these three tops. Okay, I did wear this top. It's one of my favorites and I wore it with these distressed jeans. The only thing wrong with these jeans is I have constantly have to roll them back up, but yes, wore them. Very comfy. Liked the outfit. Yes, I wore this. I wore this with these white. This very convenient having these pockets here and here. And the zipper here and pockets here is able to put my passport, my ship card, money, credit card, whatever on me. So I didn't need the crossbody. So I could just bring my binoculars and, and uh, cameras and stuff like that. So yes, this was a very convenient outfit, very cool and nice to wear. This one actually doesn't flow up over your head in the wind. <laughs> okay, I wore these two together. So I wore both of them. So I've worn all the shorts. This is the fourth pair of shorts, so I wore them all. This actually looks very cute together. It was comfortable and uh, they look very good together. Finally, these two tops. I did not wear either one of these. Uh, I just didn't need them. I had enough clothes and they would have been, like if I wore the shorts twice, I would have pulled probably this with the white shorts and this with the denim. The dark denim probably is what I would have done, but I just didn't need them. I just ran out of days. I overpacked just a little, but not much. So, so far, this is all in the I packed it but didn't wear it. Pile. Okay, long dress number one. Uh, this isn't as formal as the other two dresses, although it may look that way on camera. It isn't. It's from Dianco. It's a chiffon dress. Um, I, we did wear it. I didn't wear it to a gala night because we had two gala nights and we skipped one of them, but we did go to two upcharge restaurants and I chose to wear kind of a dressy dress to one of those. So, um, yeah, I wore it. It was pretty comfy in it. Uh, I did have to wear a sweater because it was just too cold without it. 
And I just realized this is on an old Frederick and Nelson hanger. Anybody from the Seattle area should remember Frederick and Nelson. But anyway, wore it. Okay, next is the marina gown. This is uh, definitely a dress up evening gown kind of thing. I did not wear it on this cruise. I have worn this on several cruises, but I did not wear it uh, because we didn't go to the second. We didn't go to the first gala night, but it got the it got the night off this time. So this is going to go back on the rack of the overpack. And finally is this dress. And this is by Adriana Papel. And it's the one with all the ruffled layers. And I think the last time I wore this was to Washington, D.C. in 2016, I believe. But guess what? I wore it. <laughs> we made it to the second gala night, so I wore it. So we had photos made in this dress, actually. So anyway, it goes in the worn pile. So what does that mean? So what that boils down to is one extra evening gown. Brought three long, you know, fancy dresses. One extra. That's okay. I wasn't sure if it was a two or three night gala night. I kind of knew it was two, but I brought three just in case. Two extra day dresses, which would have been worn <laughs> had I not learned that they would end up being over my head. And then four extra, no, five extra tops. Um, I'm okay with bringing five extra tops because... You know, you go out in the porch, you get hot, you get sweaty, you change clothes. So having extra is a good thing. Overall, I think I did pretty good. What do you think? Considering it was 10 days and the amount of clothes that I brought, I feel like I need to look at you through the, through the, <laughs> through the hangers. Considering uh, the amount of days of the cruise, packing for 10 days, I think I did pretty good. I don't think I overpacked as badly as I have in the past. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my videos. I hope that you will uh, like this video and let me know if you want to see this again next time we go on a cruise, which is in November, so it's a long ways off. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, tell your friends. <laughs> and if you get an opportunity to go on a cruise, I hope you do and I hope that you enjoy it. Bye.